The homeless are among the most vulnerable to COVID-19. Many lack the basic necessities to protect themselves. Now, one longtime shelter for the homeless in the Washington Park community is picking up the pieces after a devastating fire. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports its executive director is worried because his residents had to find another place to stay. The hard work here at 53rd in Indiana begins with a massive cleanup and an assessment of all the damage. We have holes all in, in roofs of both buildings. Uh, all the windows are out and there's no power to the building. The result of a fire that swept through the Door of Hope rescue mission on June 4th. 11 men had found shelter at this bridge to a new life. It's a safe environment for men who are recently homeless, who have made it up in their heart that they don't want to continue to be homeless and want to resolve whatever it is that brought them this way. Executive Director David Pendleton says he took precautions to protect the men from COVID-19. Now they have to live elsewhere. Three of the men don't have phones and Pendleton can't find them. You have no clue where they are? No. You must be concerned. Very. It is an especially tough time to be experiencing homelessness right now, especially for those who are most vulnerable to COVID. Mary Tarullo of the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless says 77,000 Chicagoans are homeless, always at risk, but never more so than now. So this is a really huge problem. The scope is, is enormous, and we need the city to be doing more in order to protect all of these folks. Tarullo says the city of Chicago has vowed to use federal funds to create 1,250 units of housing for the most vulnerable homeless Chicagoans during the pandemic those over 60 with pre-existing conditions. But the Coalition for the Homeless would like the city to add at least 500 more units. Here at 53rd in Indiana, the Door of Hope is working to reopen this safe haven. For the most part, we gotta, we gotta take it to the studs and, and rebuild. The Door of Hope has a GoFundMe page. We have a link on our website, cbschicago.com. Brad, the executive director, hopes to reopen in six months. All right, so do we. Thank you, Jim.